Can you tell me anything that you like the least about Dunbar? Really, there's no re there's no really no reason. I I least the least I like about Dunbar is that being an athlete, we would rather have our own. We would rather have had a good place to practice. That was basketball, football, whatever. But we didn't have that. We had to practice on vacant lots, and the only time we could play. We couldn't play on Friday night like the other teams did. We either had to play on Thursday or Saturday because we had to play in what they call Quigley Stadium. Tell me about practice, and tell me about your practice. Where did you have to go to practice? We practiced on a vacant lot at one time at 15th and Ringo. Also, I'm going back a while while part of Gibbs burned down. We went to school in the storefront building. The building is still there at 15th and Ringo. Well, we had classes in there in the Mount Pleasant Church. There was a vacant lot across the street from there, and that's where we practiced. And then late after they built the house on that lot, we moved down to 15th and Cross. By that time, at 33rd and State, they started building an athletic field. But we, while we had to go out there to, to the club, it cost two. They built two du duplexes at 15th and Cross. So we had to practice where old Gibbs School they burned down and wasn't nothing but rocks and everything. And that's where we practiced until they got a contract agreement with Crump to practice practice out there. How far was Crump from Dunbar? We were at Wright Avenue, I said Wright Avenue and Ringo, and Crump was at 33rd and State. Now sometimes you would have a truck there to take you out there, but we had to get back to school in the afternoon after practice was over the best way we could, which was a walk.